Oh. <laughs> hey there YouTube, CJ here with the Straight Vape. <clears throat> Just another reminder, join CASA and follow Not Blowing Smoke to fight for your vaping rights. The FDA is trying to get rid of all of it. And if they do, well then the rest of this video and the rest of my videos are pretty much going to be pointless. So join CASA. Now that that's out of the way, we're going to talk about and I'm going to explain all of the Kanger coils. There's a whole bunch of them, people. So grab a vape, grab some coffee, and let's get to it. Hey there, YouTube. CJ with the Straight Vape. <clears throat> If you have a Kanger product, chances are that they take one of these coils and you know many coils like this out on the market from every other brand. But Kanger, uh, yeah, they don't do such a great job at explaining what each coil is, um, or do they? Well, maybe they do. So the, the lowdown basically on the coils is <clears throat> they're they're actually color coded. So if you look at the bottom, let me try to get this to see how that's got a red O-ring, little red ring on the bottom of it there. Let me see if I can get this in to zoom in this stupid camera the bane of my existence camera all right so anyway that's red you can kind of see it there because my camera's being a big dum dum let me see if it'll zoom in on this one there we go see that red o-ring at the bottom and then we have a black o-ring at the bottom and i don't have one but there's also ones with blue o-rings at the bottom so what the color o-ring is basically telling you is the what kind of wire is inside of it so red o-rings are nichrome always nichrome if it's red black is clapton which is made out of canthal there it's a different wire than nichrome but they only make um coils in clapton not just straight canthal all their straight round wire um wattage mode coils are made out of nichrome then they have a uh, blue which is nickel for temp control only you can only use that in temp control <clears throat> um, and then they ha do have a stainless steel with it'll have a pink um, o-ring at the bottom but I've only found that in the top tanks a pink one came with this and the coil was freaking amazing so I'm hoping that Kanger will come out with those retail soon but um the pink one came with this I ran it in, sta in stainless steel temp control mode and it was freaking awesome but uh, currently, the only way I know to get the stainless coil is to buy one of the you know the new top tanks. So uh, then they also have, um, if you're into it, um, they do have the RBA, which you can put into um, oh, which you can put in. Um, I've I've put this in the mini. I don't know if it'll fit in the nano tank, but it will definitely fit in the mini tank. Um, and it's actually it's not too bad to build on. I've built on this. There's actually a stainless wire in it here. I was doing temp. Oh no, it don't. I cleaned it all out. But anyway, you kind of get the idea. You put your coil in there, wick it up, and now uh, you're good to go. But so you can you can also rebuild your own with Kanger products as well if you so choose. Most of the time, though, you just want to throw a coil in there. So um, that's about it for coils. Now the, I will say this: there's a uh, and I'll put this link down in the description. Let me cop on the computer here real quick. So VaporAuthority.com in their blog, they actually did a really good write up on explaining uh all the different coils so let me just read it to you real quick so the uh <clears throat> they start with nichrome the nichrome coils are available in 0 0.15 0 0.5 1.2 and 1.5 ohm resistance and they can be denoted with the red ring at the bottom a ring at the bottom now they're saying a 0 0.15 i've never seen those but that's not to say that they don't make them uh, but i do know that the 0 0.5 is a direct lung and 1.5 and 1.2 are mouth to lung coils, so you can't get a really good draw on them. Uh, nickel Ni200 is available in only 0.15, uh, and it has the blue O ring at the bottom. Um, the let's see, uh, the Clapton has the black. It's available in 0.5 ohm resistance only, and da, 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 da. It's, they say they actually do have a 316L stainless steel wire. Um, available in 0.5 ohm, which is the one I had, and they have a pink uh, O-ring. Let me see. It says if when they're available, they'll be available here. Let me click here. 
They're showing a uh, five pack for $14.95, but it's still showing out of stock on uh, Vapor Authority. So hopefully they'll be getting their stuff together here soon and we'll be able to buy them because those coils were really, really good. Um, <clears throat> now you also will see the SS OCC and just the OCC. Those coils are, are pretty much interchangeable. Um, the difference being is that the SS OCC, the outer part of the coil is made from stainless. So this outer shell, not the wire inside. The wire inside is denoted by the O-ring. The SS OCC are the newer ones and they're also round. The OCC were kind of like a squared off version of that. So hopefully uh, I didn't get too god awful rambly. I think I did, but uh, either way, that's that's how you know what Kanger coil you have and, and um, what they're made out of and what you can use them in. So there you have it. Um, again, Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below. Don't forget about our Android and iPhone app uh, available in both those stores. Uh, stay abreast of everything happening here at the vape, uh, Straight Vape. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, until next guy, next next guy's time. No, until next time, guys. Keep your vape game strong. See ya.